every eighth grade boy or, or, you know, high school boy, I always wondered what goes on in the women's locker room. You know, what's, oh, what's behind yeah. that door? Our, I think the male existence, our whole lives, we always wonder the female, ba- the bathroom and the locker room because it's like <laughs> the forbidden place. What goes on in there? And we're getting a little peek behind the curtain here, going back to your reference, to a different life. I remember, like, trying to scheme ways to get in there. Really? You went, you went that far? Like, trying to think, like, all right, how can I go through the ceiling? We're going panty raid. Through the ceiling. Like, <laughs> fuck, dude, I thought Spy about getting shit. to school super early. Just going through the HVAC. Find myself a nice little hiding spot. <laughs> I would have just liked to walk in there and see it. You, you smell like, it. Here's the thing. I've... I've <laughs> smell it. Fucking see what's I've, cracking, dude. <laughs> I've had very little experience in the women's bathroom somewhere. You know, for example, you're at a... You're at a bar, the men's is full, and you're just like, you know what? It's one of those small ones where it's locking. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the ladies if it can lock. Okay. You get in there, instantly you notice two things, cleanliness and smell. Yeah. It's It's better every time. And it always smells better, thus leads me to believe, and I've always thought, nothing crazy goes on. It's way too clean. Yeah. It's way too nice. This is not a party house. This is a sanctuary. This is a home. I don't know, bro. <laughs> this is a home. It's decorated. Yeah. Live, There's laugh, flowers love. everywhere. Yeah. It's incredible. Well, the problem is that if that was in the men's bathroom, the flowers would be pissed on and everything would be broken. <laughs> Guys are just kind of pigs, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Oh, like, dude. The, when I was... <laughs> gas station bathroom. <laughs> oh, horrible. I, I do everything in my power to not go into one of them. <laughs> Me or too. Or if the men's is taken up, I will not hesitate to go in the woman's. Yeah. One question that I do have is... <laughs> Do women's bathrooms at dive bars, do they have the condom dispensers and the like the boner pills and I think they have tampon dispensers, to be honest. Okay. So perfume like, and no shit. I don't they know. They usually have guessing. snacks. <laughs> <laughs> they have a whole ass bed. Or There's a whole food court inside There's of the women's actually locker. A char- charcuterie board on the Fucking Panda Express in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> they just got all the works. Fucking dude. Been Cinnabon, dude. Just living the secret life. <laughs> Dude, that's the thing. I mean, uh, I guess I I can't speak for. I haven't even been to many dive bars where like men's have condoms in there. I feel like Wisconsin is it's everywhere. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Oh, see, I haven't been in very many that are like that. I feel well, like. I feel like Wisconsin is all dive bars, like ninety percent, and they seem like most of them have condoms and st- and it's always horny goat weed. Dude, mm, okay, horny goat. That weed. brings me in. So when I was a kid, like the first time I ever saw one of those dispensers. Yo. Me and my buddy are in there, and we're like, all right, we're going to buy something. Yeah. And there was horny goat weed. And I was like, dude, let's get that. And he's like, no, no, no. What if it's actually weed? Like, he was all <laughs> And so I've just always remembered 